Hey guys, Spreg here, and welcome to my leatherworking guide for patch 8.3 and the end of Battle for Azeroth. Leatherworking is a very simple profession, but it does have some gold making potential, so we'll get into it now. Just open up my mail, which is just some of the leatherworking things we've been selling, and a couple of other things from other professions as well. And over the past 24 hours, we have sold seven comfortable riders' bardings, some uncanny gear, and a couple of other things. Not a great result but not terrible either. Anyway, let's get into the leatherworking guide. So as I said, leatherworking is a very simple profession and it has three main areas, just like all the uh, crafting gear professions. The first is the leatherworking armor, which is for leather and mail. And that's the good thing about leatherworking is you can make mail stuff with it. And leatherworkers can also make bows, though these don't sell so well. Uh, then there are the other items that leatherworkers can make from BFA, and this is the second key part of leatherworking. And actually some of these are really good, such as the comfortable riders' bardings, which I sold quite a few of, and they're you know, fairly profitable, which isn't too bad. And the dredged leather bladder, which we will go into in a little bit. And then of course there is the old world leatherworking as well. So of course, as for the uncanny combatant leather gear, uh, it sells fairly well. Same with the leather and the mail, and it's something, it's just like all the gear really, uh, right now with people leveling up in the game, people get to max level and they want to quickly gear up their alts, and even though the gear isn't very high item level, people will still buy it, so if you can craft the uncanny gear for a profit, then definitely do it, and it can sell pretty well. Uh, I've been very lazy on my leather worker, and I don't have the rank 2s and 3s, and that usually raises the profits by a couple of hundred gold each time. So uh, most of leatherworking is profitable on my server and on some less populated servers it will likely be even more profitable. And yeah, people do buy the stuff so it's definitely worth crafting your uncanny gear. Uh, obviously you need a lot of expulsion for that but as I always say just get that from your tailor or even the leatherworkers can make uh, leather braces and then you can uh, put them in the scrapper but usually I go for tailoring. And if you haven't seen my Expulsum uh, string for TSM, then check out my How to Make Gold with the Crafting Professions video where I go into more details about that. Anyway, like I say before, the more interesting aspect of leatherworking actually comes with the other items that are not gear in BFA. So as I said, the Comfortable Riders Barding is pretty good. It sells really, really quickly because it stops you from being dazed while mounted, which is always something that's, uh, that's useful. Most people have flying now, and I don't really know how that impacts uh, flying, but still, all I know is this still sells, so obviously some people are still buying it, and it sells for quite a nice bit of profit. There are also some other items, particularly the dredged leather bladder, which I think is used by blacksmiths to make their uh, mount equipment. So this also sells pretty well, and if you can get between 50 and 100 gold, and you can sell sort of 5 or 10 a day, then you're making 1,000 gold a day from pretty much doing nothing, so you might as well do that. The tools of the trade for leatherworking is just a drums, so it's not very uh, relevant for gold making at all, so I wouldn't really bother getting that, uh, unless you've got leatherworking on your main, obviously. But yet again, I feel they could have done more with leatherworking tools of the trade in terms of gold making potential, but they didn't, which is a shame. And yeah, there's not much else I can say about BFA leatherworking. I told you it was simple. My only suggestions are try and buy your materials as cheap as possible from a farmer, maybe in trade chat, or just check your auction house every day and only buy the leather when it is a low price. Uh, also, make sure you get your expulsum for as cheap as possible, as I've already spoken about. And if you can, try to get to rank 3, because if you're on a high pop server where the profit is not so huge for some of the gear, then getting rank 3 will really boost up your, uh, your profit margins on those uncanny pieces of gear, which do sell pretty well. However, the most interesting aspects of leatherworking come through the old world items that you can craft with it. Now again, some people who want to maximize their leveling at the moment are buying things such as armor kits. Uh, don't ask me why, but they do. So these things you can attach onto your legs and they give you extra stats uh, for people who are leveling or maybe even twinks, that kind of thing. 
uh, but anyway that is something that people do and you can make quite a lot of gold selling these so if you're trying to make uh, a bit of gold from leatherworking in a more niche market then uh, you should look to something like the armor kits another thing leather workers do is they turn leather scraps into more advanced leather and again some people who are looking to craft some old world recipes will go on the auction house looking for things such as heavy not hide leather and all you have to do is buy out some not hide leather turn it into heavy not hide leather and you sell it for a pretty huge profit and people buy it so that's another good thing to do same for things like rugged leather and thick leather if it's profitable to do on your server I've never had too much luck selling lots of the old world gear uh, compared to blacksmithing and tailoring which have some pretty cool transmog items leather working isn't usually that good but there are some quite profitable ones so if you can craft them and uh, your patient they will probably sell eventually and you could make some gold with it so if you can be bothered to wait and craft some of these really profitable old world items then maybe you'll get lucky but uh, like I say they don't sell quite as well as some of the tailoring and blacksmithing ones do and finally of course are the drums these are one of the best selling things that leather workers can make and again if you're struggling to make profit with leather working make sure you look to the drums and not just the uh, New World drums, the BFA drums, the Legion drums also sell really really well and sometimes for more profits so make sure you check out your server see what you can make with the gold and if you can make something like drums of the mountain for a decent profit people will buy sort of 20, 30, 40, 50 of these at a time so 50 gold might not seem like much but when you turn it into sort of 5,000 gold uh, then if someone buys 100 say then that sounds a lot better and yeah guys that is it for this video uh, like I say leatherworking is very very simple profession it doesn't require much uh, extra effort and maybe if you are a beginner to the game or a beginner to gold making then leatherworking could be a place to start but it's not my favorite gear crafting profession in fact it's probably my least favorite I think blacksmithing right now is the best by far because so many people are leveling up and blacksmithing makes weapons and things that alts really need then I would say tailoring is next and then leatherworking probably last for the gear crafting professions. However, it does have some niche uses that can make some gold. Uh, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. What do you think of leatherworking? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.